Hey everyone, this is Jay Keeps here in the 710 Film Studios. Here after a great win versus the Los Angeles Rams, uh, Seahawks are 4 and 1 and great to break down the fact that the Seahawks play action game is alive and well. It's something that I think Seahawks fans have been concerned about in terms of the identity of this offense. Have they been able to run the ball? The last 2 weeks you can say yes and yes. Last two weeks, they've also been able to effectively use their play-action game, uh, which has really helped them out in terms of being able to capitalize on big play opportunities and also giving Russell Wilson great protection and opportunity to extend play. So I'm going to give you a couple examples of that. And also, there were different points in time where pass protection broke down. However, when they were able to hold and give Russell Wilson time, he was able to make plays happen. So let's dive right into it. All right, so what you have here is the Seahawks are in 12 personnel. They've done a lot of that since they've acquired Luke Wilson. So you have Luke Wilson up here and Will Disley here. Um, and so that's definitely a new trend. Now, for DK Metcalf, in the first five games of the season, he's had a very limited route tree. He's only lined up on the left side of the field, and he's only been asked to run fades, 10-yard stop routes, widen hitches, and so forth. Just a very limited route tree. Now, he's been very productive in these roles, but as you start progressing, defensive coordinators, cornerbacks, they all start to see the tendencies are now able to take those types of throws away from DK. So what I loved on this particular touchdown play here in play action was they changed up the tendencies of DK Metcalf and his route tree, and it obviously paid off. So what you have here is you're going to have a nice, deep play-action pass game, good protection, good mesh point with Chris Carson. Chris is going to leak out into the flat. Tyler, Tyler Lockett is going to run some sort of a V-cut, cut, and he's going to flatten it down because of the way the cornerback is playing him. The, on the other side of it, DK is going to stem in, stem up and now break across into a deep post okay and using that unbelievable 4-3 speed that he has to separate from with from defenders so once we go into this now what I want to point out here is look at this mesh point Russell Wilson is next to Drew Brees the best play action pass quarterback in terms of selling the run fake and making the run and the play action pass look the exact same. It's teaching tape. Any young quarterback that wants to know how to uh, be better at the play action pass game, go look at Russell Wilson and Drew Brees. Now, what this play action pass does is because of the run game's effectiveness is it really gets these linebackers and these defensive linemen really selling on the run, even gets Eric Weddle to dive down and get his eyes solely on the line of scrimmage, anticipating having to fill in the run game. Now, Russell Wilson, obviously it's a play-action pass, steps back from it, and now what you see is, look at this clean pocket. We talk about clean pockets and, and giving Russell Wilson time. That's why you want to be able to run and play-action pass to be able to wear down the defensive line and give your offensive lineman the best opportunity to protect him. Now, on the back end, you see Tyler, he's already done this, and now he's ready to break out. So what you've seen here is you've seen the corner play trail technique on Tyler, and the safety to this side is actually doubling Tyler. This is what Tyler's, Tyler Lockett's commanding because of his great productivity. Everybody knows that this is Russell Wilson's number one guy, and defenses are starting to plan game plan accordingly. So what that does is it allows for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here with Marcus Peters, Eric Weddle selling on that initial run fake, and DK Metcalf breaking trend from <clears throat> just simply staying on this side of the field in his limited route tree to now breaking across on a post to the other side of the field. So ex great execution and great finish to this play resulting in a big touchdown for the Seahawks. Now, <clears throat> Hopefully you get to see that more and more from DK Metcalf, uh, breaking tendencies in the route tree, getting used in more uh, of, a, of a variety of different ways. But you love to see him be that deep vertical threat uh, in the deep play action pass game. It's definitely what his bread and butter is.
The next play here, again, we have 12 personnel. Luke Wilson, Will Disley over there in a wing alignment. They used Tyler Lockett, and they used him to motion, and now they're going to bring him back. Okay, We'll talk about why they're doing that here in just a second. So we have a heavy run formation. We're going to have a play-action pass here, and this is to uh, really isolate Will Disley and give him an opportunity to leak out and get one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, a favorable matchup for the Seahawks in this situation. So you're going to have a heavy pass protection with Chris Carson leaking out into the backfield here uh, or protecting. And then you're going to have Tyler Lockett come back through to this side into the flat. DK Metcalf is going to run a deep over, and Will Disley is going to sneak out the back door here as, we, as, we, as this play progresses. So now you have a great mesh point with Chris Carson in the run fake. Now you've got Russell Wilson at the top of his drop. And the reason why they had Tyler come back this way with DK coming around here is what this is showing is typically in the run game when you're faking this way, you're faking to your left and then having a slide come back to the right, that means it's going to be a naked. So what the Seahawks are trying to fool the Rams in thinking is that this is going to be a naked bootleg to the right. Instead, Russell Wilson sets up in the pocket here, and you have Will Disley coming out the back door while the safety and the uh, corner are being influenced by DK Metcalf's route. So now what you have is an opportunity for Russell to take advantage of this. And what's so great about this play is, yes, they were able to scheme the one-on-one -on -one matchup that they wanted, but Russell Wilson in this game showed that he was, even in the deep plaques and pass game, that he was going to be decisive with his decision-making. As soon as his back foot hit, essentially, he let the ball go, threw it on time and on the money, with Will Disley continuing to show that he's not just a possession receiver, he is a big play receiver, catching this one-handed Russell putting it where only Will Disley could get it in a tight, tight window, making a big play down the field. Now, my last point is to show that if this offensive line can continue to hold in pass protection, it gives Russell Wilson an opportunity to make plays. With what he does, even when plays don't go right, he can extend them and make plays happen. And we've seen that time and time again, but here's a great example of this. I love the concept of this. Uh, the Seahawks really falling in love with this type of concept of flooding the zone with the seam routes, getting a wide and go route to try and influence linebackers, corner safeties with this wide release here, along with Chris Carson swinging out to that side. So what happens here is the ball is snapped. You see that in this vertical concept, they have Aqib Talib in a bind with the deep high safety, one high safety. Now the problem is, is that the Rams, they end up playing buzz coverage, okay? And what that buzz coverage does is this safety right here is in the lane of where Russell Wilson would like to throw this seam route to Will Disley, okay? because he's playing a little bit deeper in his hook-to-curl responsibility rather than playing more directly into the box. So because of this safety playing and doing his job right, it takes away from the initial read of Russell Wilson. However, you see here, great protection by the offensive line. Russell was able to sit back there. He's able to survey the field. And then once he realizes that he doesn't get the look that he wants, he is able to then do Russell Wilson like things, extend the play, roll out to his right, and what that does is it forces Aqib Talib to make a decision. And what he does is he tries to take away the immediate completion here to Malik Turner on the sideline, leaving this wide open space for Will Disley. And great job of Will Disley being able to recognize Russell Wilson scrambling, then finding space and attacking the deep part of the field allowing for a great pitch and catch down the field, a huge gain that puts the Seahawks in an advantageous situation against the Los Angeles Rams. So if the Seahawks can continue to, to stick with their plan of Pete Carroll's philosophy, being able to run the football, being able to play action pass, it allows Russell to not only 
take deep shots in which he is so good at and so deadly with, but also this offensive line, if they can hold in protection at different points, it allows your playmaker to not only make great decisions, but extend plays in which Russell is so good at. The thing that has impressed me so much about Russell Wilson so far is that he is making great decisive decisions even when scrambling on the run. To me, that is the difference of him being the the typical playmaker that he is versus being the MVP type of player that he is showing he can be.